Duke hosting Clemson and good for Duke for getting a Monday night game. I mean, good on them. Clemson are 12 and a half point road favorites. The over under is 55 and a half points. Clemson are minus 480 on the money line and Duke is plus 360. Now these are the pre kickoff lines. They're going to change significantly. Probably the closer we get to first kick uh, to kickoff on Monday. Really going to depend upon how badly people win or lose over this uh, upcoming college football weekend. Now, Clemson is a perfect 4-0 in their four meetings against Duke. Uh, the favorite is 3-1 against the spread, and the favorite is 4-0 on the money line. The over-under is 2-2 in their four games. The last time they played each other was in 2018. Clemson won that game 35 to 6. They were 29 and a half point favorites. They did not cover. The game went under because the over under was 60 points. The game before that, they won 56 to 20. They were 12 point uh, road favorites. They won that. Uh, they obviously won winning 56 to 20. They won by 36 points. But the game and the game went over. The over under was at 68 points. The game before that, they won in Clemson. Uh, 31 to 7. They were 10 and a half point favorites. The game went under. And then the game before that, they won in Duke 47 to 10. They were 17 point favorites. And the game pushed. I really can't say that it went over or under. Oh, no, it did go over. Forgive me. I read that wrong. So Duke, they've played in Duke twice. And the two times that they played in Duke, they won by 37 and 36 points. I understand that these are different teams, but just some backstory Clemson are seven and three overall this is dating back last year in their last 10 and they are six and four against the spread they lost to Tennessee by 17 31 14 beat UNC 39 10 lost to South Carolina 31 30 beat Miami 40 to 10 uh beat Louisville 31 16 and lost to Notre Dame 35 14 for Duke, they're six and four in their last ten. They were seven and three against the spread, and they closed out the season five and one, beating Boston College 38-31, beating Virginia Tech 24-7, then losing to Pitt 28-26, beating Wake Forest 34-31, and beating UCF 30-13. Now that isn't kind of the same stretch that Clemson went through, but you know these are two totally different uh, expectations and scheduling. Uh, so. Duke is 6-1 and one against the spread in their last seven. They are 5-1 and one in their last six games straight up, and I read those off. Duke is 5-0 and oh against the spread in their last five games. Clemson is 17-3 and three straight up in their last 20. They are 7-2 and two against the spread in their last nine games on the road. They are 8-1 and one straight up in their last nine games on the road. As much as I would love to see Duke pull off this home upset, I don't think it's going to happen. Clemson washed them twice by 30 plus points the two times they played in Duke. And I think that it's probably going to be something similar to that. I'm going to take Clemson with the money line. I'm going to take Clemson laying the points. The question is the over under. And the two times that they played at Duke, the games went over. So I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.